going into loser semis. That's the most unfortunate thing. You start the rocket precision and your controller just falls through your legs. <laughs> you know, it just happens sometimes. Where are they going? They're going, I mean... FD Congo Falls? No. Well, maybe. Well, probably not. I like Congo Falls. It's got good music. It's got DK music. I know, it's good music. It's got the DK rap. Yeah, Therefore, it's, it's a good, good it's a good, yeah, it's good music. stage. <laughs> well, okay, what stage on here does not have good music? I think every stage at least has, it has one something. or two. Yeah, <laughs> at least Midgar has like two, yeah. and they're they're not optional. But yeah. luckily, they're good. Like, oh no, Midgar has great music. Oh yeah, no. Three, Final two, Fantasy theme for the battle. Pokemon Let's never go. Stadium. I expected this from these players. Oh my gosh, these dry down up. Oh my goodness. I like that pressure, that drag down up air into a... Uh, up tilt. Which energy sphere is going to be launched first? Well, it's close. Ooh. Back throw. Oh, yeah. He was jump. yeah, he was reading the jump there. This forward air pressure, uh, if you have to figure it out, I will say, Corn can sit on ledge as much as he wants, but as we saw against Charger Cameron, if he, you know, if he's not in the lead, it doesn't matter. He can just Get chipped away at. What did that hit? The, the down B from the Oh, yeah, the law bot that out. That's a really interesting interaction, actually. They kind of catch each other out in a way. Yeah, so it looks like the uh, Sun Citation is going to be beating up. Ooh, and catches the, him on that roll on, too, with the F Smash. The backward hitbox catching him. That is what makes me fit unique about this game. Hitboxes on both sides. For Why? Most, most I don't know. Moves. What? Most of her moves. Just yeah. have it. And it's because she's, I don't know, she's a yoga instructor, so she can just do that, I guess. <laughs> that kill? I, that, no! Weezy just confuses me sometimes, I'll see with that. <laughs> Does deep breathing make her heavier? No. Okay. Deep breathing restores about like 1%, I think maybe 1.5. Because if it's fresh, it increases knockback on some of her attacks during a certain time period. Yeah. I don't think it does anything to a way. Okay. Uh, oh, oh yeah, wow. Cool, though. Sadies, I love how much he understands that recovery and what the full limit is. Oh, I thought, okay. That was a little bit scary there. Corn pressuring super well. Yeah, yeah. I think if you're gonna go low for a third time, like, you're gonna. You're gonna get, you're gonna get spiked. Uh, the tilt. Uh, okay. Forward air pressure. Oh my. Dude, she does way too much damage. Look at this. We fit with deep breathing is a strong character. Monster. Uh, oh, air, air bear. I, I love how Korn recognizes, even if he just gets one hit of an air, he can follow up. Oh yeah. Well, single hit and air is like a wee bit classic. Like the same thing with like <laughs> oh single hit. Oh, okay, that was a nice card <laughs> shot. Was, that was good. Good. Uh. He's like, you're not getting deep breathing without getting punished. I want to see Sadie do a bit more pressure. You know, once he has advantage. Oh. If there's one thing that Korn is extremely good at, as you're playing across a lot of Smash Bros. games, it's mashing. I I played like a uh, Gary character against him, and he gets out of that in, like, a split second. Oh, yeah. and I'm not talking about like ones that I'm talking about berries that take a while to get out of like uh, DK's headbutt and whatnot. Oh yeah. It's like instant. So don't test his matching. Look at this comeback though. Max Rage. You can have to see. Ooh! That was so cool. <gasps> oh! You just had above it. Oh, no Zero dodge. Punish. That could have been a rough smash. That could have been a down smash. That could have been anything. Oh, oh then Barry. Barry. Roll on. Two per high percent now. Ah, this is no wreck. Careful, dude. Yeah, that Nair has pretty much no end lag uh, when it goes. And the nice hit with the soccer ball. This is actually really scary. <gasps> oh, I like that mix up, oh and he doesn't God. get. Oh, he flies off the top. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That is super unfortunate. Yeah, that's a feels bad. That's a Feels bad. And I think he was running at him, so he was holding in, so he just went straight off the top. It was the way he, the way he played the soccer ball too was so smart, especially with the sun salutation. That was 
That was a rough one. Beautiful. It was honestly, if he waited a little bit on the the neutral beat, the front side station might have hit him, but he hit the soccer ball instead. I mean, if you're if we're talking about like jumping in this matchup completely fresh, one thing that Sadie has to remember now is he can't throw out those missiles, especially if Corn has a sun salutation. Three, a sun salutation two, it. one, go! He's got a stick with charge shot, forward air, and the the bomb that he places down. I think is that up cow that up smash is strong. Oh yeah, I think uh, Sadie has a really strong mental game. He's been able to make a lot of comebacks today, just in general, and his his. Consistency in his, you know, ability to make a comeback is very strong. So let's see, if, you know, he's got the download game too, and if he, you know, does better. All right. Scoring off stage. After the couple of Back row. Oh, he gets hit. He's stuck up by the soccer ball. Ooh, this nice oh, call wow. out on the up. Oh, he just okay. Oh, that, that was, that was going on there. Yeah, yeah. But a deep breathing F smash, and with the sun salutation, oh. that's fifty-seven percent. Oh my gosh! Look at all this percent he's getting. This might just be the game to revenge it. Like, it's like I don't. He might have gotten that easy one. Oh, he gets the snipe! All the way Yo, down there! Oh, that was sick. Look at this! That was beautiful. That was really beautiful. Yeah, I mean, now Korn can stall. You got the time, Korn. You don't oh, oh, the soccer ball blocked the charge shot! Now, it's not likely to happen, but... There, I mean, it could be a 3 stock. Yeah, I'm not going to say that it will be, because the percent difference is kind of crazy right now, yeah. but... This is emphatic! Corn just doesn't care! Oh my goodness. Look at this. Another deep he force of the air he got the air dodge already! Oh, but he was a little nah, too hungry yeah. when it came down to that spike. He thought he was gonna dip low. Now he's got deep breathing. Oh he tried going for the full jab. This is Corn's game to lose now. So we can make it back. Oh but it clanked! These people are they're both taking dangerous trades. Oh my goodness, look at this little drag down up tilt stuff. I love seeing that. Oh, good parry. Now they both have their giant energy balls. Yep, both decided to let him lose too. Oh, he might be dead. Charge. Epto. No, he went for the grab. I thought he was going to go for F smash or something. I think Epto would have been faster. He might have been killed. Now he's dead. Game two, Korn answering back in an emphatic way. A two stock. Going into game three. Wow. Where do you think he's gonna go? FD, Kalos? Something like that? Based on how they're playing, a PS2 makes sense. I was gonna say I kind of would want to see a battlefield pick. Okay. Because he's able to do a lot a lot more stuff with the uh, with the drag down up and whatnot. Korn hasn't really been comboing him vertically, he's just been getting straight hits. So I would think a more horizontal stage would favor Korn more. A more vertical, or like a smaller stage going right. upwards would help him out. We can see the first Yoshi's Island pick. Alright, so they're just a real clarification, trying to figure out what stage to go to. I think because um, Sadie's won a game, game one on Pokemon. Yeah, he tried to go back. He tried to go back, but he, you know, uh, Corn didn't want him to go back. So, um, I don't know if Hard says, you know, if they don't gentlemen to it, then we can't go back. So, going to town is the play. Uh, wants that space, wants that, wants those platforms for those setups. Makes sense. I mean, he was doing all those cool uh, drag down conversions, to up tilt. So, I don't know how strong up tilt actually was for me, Gunner. Yeah, Until it's today. a strong move. And one thing that I think is really helping out Korn when it comes down to this matchup is the fact that his projectiles, especially that soccer ball, can be used as kind of a pseudo shield in a way. Because it's blocked a couple of times when I feel like Sadie's really had the read on, uh, on his hit. Oh, double up tilt. Doesn't get the full up smash though. Yeah. They're both playing really quickly. and That's the thing that, like, you know they're a good player. If they can analyze their options quickly, 
and convert quickly, then they're a good time. Yeah. This is, this is a fast-paced match, and that includes the zoning on the screen. Oh yeah. You see, like right there, he's able to land safely because he's able to put the soccer ball down. That soccer ball is coming in clutch in this matchup. Jeb gets the up tilt in. Gonna get that little extra percent. Yep. Now, both are able just to sit back and charge up their moves. Looking at game one, how close it was, and how game two was just kind of a lot better for Korn. Even though Korn lost game one, it was still pretty close, and he actually lost because he died early compared to, you know, Sadie. One thing that Sadie's got to watch out for is, again, he fits love rolling on an F-Tilt. I think Sadie has yet to punish it. 41% from that little string there. Yeah. Or at least an emphatic enough way for Korn to try to make some of his recovery too much. Alright. Pretty close game still. This is just a couple hits here and there. Oh, oh he, got the... he does still get the extra percent with the charge shot. Yeah, the tech chase with the charge shot. Very smart. He's around 90%. This is really scary for Sadie's. Ooh, careful. Throw him off stage. shield out in time. Back here. Do we see any... Okay. <laughs> They're both content to charge their... Uh... I mean, it works out. Oh, never mind. I guess the, uh, the bomb that it has does uh, stop the sun salutation. Yeah, that's really interesting. The uh, the downbeat from uh, Migunner can actually block the Sun Salutation, just like Soccer Ball can block uh, his own charge shot. That was good the extra percent, but he's sitting at 157. 170 now. Yeah, anything. For any rogue hit was going to be doing it. Sadie's potentially on his last stock of this tournament. See what Sadie's gonna pull out. Sitting around 29%. Block the soccer ball. Yep, and that high ceiling on Town City is not gonna let him get the kill with the up smash. Is gonna get him on the re grab with the down smash. This is potential last dock for both of these guys in this tournament. Barry. Barry. Oh, jumped way high. Oh. That up tilt's almost looking like a short. so much damage. About all tied up, gonna get the berry again. Uh, this time he goes down, I like that. I like the fact that he got the berry, but I feel like he should have waited a little bit just to see what you know he did. Try to throw the charge shot. They're fine at sitting at this distance. They're they're beg they're begging them to come in. Back throw off stage. Even percents. Now from what I've seen from this set, it looks like Corn usually gets the stock first, so City has to be on notice here. Pushes him off stage. Yeah. Oh, tries to go for the uh, the back air stage oh, spike. Oh wow! Oh, he oh he's gonna the get the charge shot, and they're both gonna get fully charged for their uh, specials. Yo, the next charge shot might kill, depending on DI. Oh, he gets the up tilt. That's gonna be it. Wow. Wow. That's pretty good. And Corn is gonna wait his next opponent. 